greater than 5. Now you should know what I mean when I say real numbers. Real numbers really just means anything, be fractions, decimals, square roots, whatever, anything in between um, negative 5, I should say greater than negative 5, going onward. All right. Using interval notation, well, we would just say that x must be greater than negative 5. Okay, so these are the three different ways that we have to do this. Now using interval notation, we would say that it goes from negative 5, but since we're not including it, I'm going to use the curly brackets, like so. And since it's going onward forever, we're going to put positive infinity. And since infinity is something that you can never reach, we're going to also use the curly brackets, like so. Okay, so That's the domain for that one. Let's take a look at the range. So we'll do range down here. So the range, we have domain, we have range. Well, the range is saying that we can have everything up here from 4 going infinitely down, because that graph is going to continually go down. So we would say any real number, any real numbers less than 4, all right, because they go infinitely downward. How do we describe that in terms of what we call inequality notation? We would say y must be less than 4. And using the brackets like so, since we are going from um, Four being the bigger value. Remember, the bigger value always goes on the right-hand side. So 4 would be right here, and then we'd have negative infinity. Notice that I use the curly ones because we're not including those points. Okay. Now let's go to the next side here. Let's say I gave you a funky-looking, um, let's do a funky-looking function like this. How about it goes from negative 7, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I fill in that dot, so note that it's filled in. That's the ordered pair, negative 7, 5. And let's say it goes to 7, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, sorry, negative 8. We would have something that looks like so. And who knows, let's say the function does something like crazy like that. All right. Now I guess it wouldn't be a function right there because it crosses over, so I've got to be careful when I'm making that graph. Let's make it a little bit straighter, like so. OK, domain. Well, in terms of words, we would say that we can have anything in between negative 7 and 7 here. So the real numbers between 7 and negative 7. In terms of using the uh, inequality notation, this is where we have to use that between thing. Since we're including both the points, we're going to put x must be less than or equal to positive 7 and greater than or equal to negative 7. Like so. All right. Using the, um, uh, the interval notation, we would have the brackets like so. Since we're including both those points, we would have a negative 7, comma 7 with the square brackets, meaning include. All right. The range down here. For the range, we would say that we can have values that go, so the real numbers between, uh, what do we have here, 5 and negative 8. In terms of using inequality notation, we would write y has to be uh, less than or equal to, what do we have, 5 and greater than or equal to negative 8. And then in interval notation, we just have the same thing with the square brackets because we're going to include those. The bigger number goes to the right, and the smaller number goes down here. Okay. So that concludes uh, this lesson. We looked at a lot of things right here. I know it was kind of lengthy, uh, definitely two parts here, um, but very, very important.